Good morning students. Today I am here with the topic poultry farming in animal husbandry and that comes under the chapter improvement in food resources. So today we are going to discuss all about poultry farming. Now here you can see the picture. I have just kept some birds, some eggs are here how the farm looks like, how the birds are kept in a poultry farm. All those things have been demonstrated over here in these pictures. So now we must know the poultry industry produces eggs and meat and it is of great importance in the human population. Why? Because it provides you with a balanced diet. Poultry birds serve human beings in various ways. They are not only the efficient converters of agricultural byproducts, particularly the wastes, into high quality meat, but they also provide egg, then they provide you with uh, meat, then the feathers for decoration purposes, and also they provide you with rich manure. So proper management of the poultry birds is very much important. And what, uh, what, uh, what all things will come under management? Like, you know, their hatching, rearing, how they are housed, that is housing, the sanitation, then prevention from diseases and also a sound marketing arrangement. All these things have to be taken care of. So what is poultry? It is a branch of animal husbandry concerned with the rearing of the birds for eggs and meat. Mainly these are the two products. And in this industry we have not only the chicken but we have so many other birds also like your ducks, geese, turkeys, guinea fowls, pea fowls, pigeons, quails etc. and many more. The egg laying poultry bird is called an egger or layer while the one which is rare for obtaining meat is called a chicken or broiler. And India is the fifth largest country in the world in terms of poultry production after China, Russia, USA and Japan. And the Indian state with the maximum broiler and egg production is Andhra Pradesh. Now, in the previous uh, topics, we have already talked about cross-breeding programs. As in case of cattle, we have discussed in the animal husbandry cattle farming. Now, here also, cross-breeding programs are undertaken. Now, the crossing is usually done between an Indian breed and an exotic breed for the variety improvement. So, what are the desirable characteristics that we want in our birds? First thing is that they should be, the number should be more and the quality of the chicks should be good. They should be healthy, in good condition. Dwarf broiler parent is required for commercial chick production. Dwarf means short-heighted. Young chickens are used for commercial chick production. Because, you know, dwarf, dwarf broiler females usually give 100% of normal progeny and uh, they need less food and less space. So, that is beneficial for the farmer. Summer adaptation capacity or tolerance to high temperature. So, usually when the temperature goes very high, you know, they start uh, feeling falling sick and becoming uncomfortable. So, their normal life processes are affected. So, we, they should have a good summer adaptation capacity. And the most important thing is that their maintenance requirements should be low. That is, they should eat less and produce more. That is, produce more of eggs and produce more of body weight so that the meat can be sold. And... Reduction in the size of the laying bird with ability to utilize more fibrous, cheaper diets formulated using agricultural byproducts. So, 
the fibrous cheaper diets that we get from the agricultural farm so that is fed to the egg laying bird and egg laying bird is usually smaller in size and they are usually kept small in size and should be small in size as if the bird is of small size then definitely it is going to require less food and it is uh, going to require less space so that is the desired character for a poultry farmer now what is the kind of food requirement broiler chickens are fed with vitamin rich supplementary food good for their growth rate and better eff feed efficiency care is taken to avoid the mortality that is they should not die if they are kept in overcrowded conditions and supposedly there is an infestation of some uh, uh, bacteria or any kind of a viral attack then the entire population perishes disease starts from one or two birds and then it spreads into the entire population so all precautions should be taken to may avoid their mortality and to maintain their feathering that is their body feathers because feathers you know tells you the about the health of the bird and the carcass quality that is carcass quality means the body which is left after the dressing that is when the feathers and the skin is removed the head and the uh, legs and uh, tail is cut then whatever remains that is used for uh, selling as meat so that is your carcass quality and that needs to be maintained so they are produced and then those uh, broilers are sent to the market for selling for the meat purpose now good production of poultry bird so good management practices have to be uh, done and so what are those the temperature and hygiene condition of the place where they are kept needs to be maintained what kind of food is being provided that needs to be taken care of then pre prevention and control of diseases and pests needs to be controlled the housing nutritional and environment requirement of the broiler is somewhat very much different from those of the layers their food requirement and their housing requirement their environmental situation requirement everything is very different between the broiler and the layer so we are going to talk about it in the form of a chart now here in this slide you can see that on the left hand side i have just put the points about layers and on the right hand side i have put the points about the broilers layers are the egg laying birds and they are usually females and they are able to produce large sized eggs without growing much they should be able to produce large sized eggs but themselves they should not grow to a larger size the reason being if they grow large then they will require more food and more space which is not a uh, economical prospect for the farmer and it, it is uh, the variety improvement is done in such a way that they consume less food less feed and feed should be rich in vitamins that is the rich food should be there but the quantity should be less and layers you know they grow slow they start producing eggs at about 20 weeks that is still 20 weeks the farmer has to look after the birds and uh, uh, feed them so 20 weeks is a long period approximately around 5 months now for the broilers that they are maintained for getting meat so it could be male or a female and uh, they yield more meat and hence they should grow very fast and so they consume more food and what kind of food they need they need food rich in proteins and fats minerals and nutrients and vitamin a and k and broilers grow very fast so they and they but uh, within 6 uh, to 7 weeks you know they can go up to a weight of around 1 uh, around 800 grams to 1.5 kg and then they are sent to the market for the pr production of meat now poultry care 
what are the different practices that we need to undertake to take care of these birds for good poultry uh, management practices and uh, we need to see that the temperature is maintained and the and the hygienic conditions are there in the poultry housings the place where they are kept and we have to take care of their food also what kind of food is being provided to them and also take care of the cleanliness of that place so that the control of disease and pests can be taken care of now what are the different kinds of diseases that these birds can suffer from diseases can be caused from all kinds of microorganisms virus bacteria fungi and even parasites as well as they can suffer from nutritional deficiencies so for preventing these things we need to take proper undertake the proper cleaning of that place sanitation should be there spraying of disinfectants at regular intervals should happen and uh, proper vaccinations are also available in order to prevent the occurrence of infectious diseases so whenever there is a season of outbreak of diseases then definitely these birds can be vaccinated now in this slide you can see i have collected some pictures here the bird is suffering from skin disease how it looks here just a collection of different birds uh, different poultry birds and here it is in the form of a cycle it is shown how the egg reaches the shell from the parent how in steps the egg reaches our shelf so very nicely everything shown in this picture now let us talk about the diseases in general we have talked about it now let us put them under heads viral diseases we have rani khet foul pox dermatitis bird flu in bacterial diseases we have foul cholera foul typhoid then we have fungal diseases whereby the scandiasis is there aspergillosis is there then in your dermatitis you know the blisters and eruptions happen on the surface of the skin this is a disease we human beings also suffer from then your in your foul pox you know like uh, small lesions will be there and uh, pox like lesion on the body and uh, eyelids and feet and discharge will be there from the nose and the eyes then in your foul cholera there will be loose motion and dehydration the bird suffers from loose motion and dehydration similarly for typhoid also there will be problem of digestion then in the fungal disease like in case of aspergillosis there will be patches on the skin due to the growth of molds so these through these symptoms we can identify that the bird is not well it is sick and actually when the bird is sick the external look of the bird itself will tell you that is the feather quality the uh, brightness and the health will be easily Uh, visible by watching the movement and the external features of the bird now here i have just tried to name some of the breeds that are very common in india like the indian breeds may we have the local ones that is aseel chitagong ghegas busra in the exotic breeds we have white leghorn rhode island red and plymouth and in the cross breeds these two breeds are very common hh260 and b77 so that's all for now in the poultry farming and in the next class i will come up with a new topic thank you